everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make the 6x6 wiper card and this is how it looks. So it's a little bit different to the other ones and this time I've actually cut an aperture into the, the centre of the card so you actually have the, the pop-up or the wiper part within the middle of the card and I think it gives you a really nice effect. So it looks lovely like that, it reminds me of like a just a nice field of uh, tulips there and then I've got the happy birthday sentiment that comes with the set and then you just pull it and out pops the hand with another bunch of flowers or bouquet of flowers and you've got all that room on the back there to stamp and write your message. A couple of others using the other sizes so I have well, another one using the 6x6 as you see there I've got the smaller aperture just with the giraffe there and then out pops the other giraffe at the top. So it's, I just wanted to show you how you can create these, I guess, inner apertures within the wiper card and it looks really fun. So it's that version. And then I've got this one here as well, which is just using the six by six wiper as a, you know, as it comes really. So there's no aperture in this one, but I just wanted to show you how it looks without as well, in case you haven't seen that. And I've also got here a five by seven version using that five by seven wiper die. And again, you just pull it open and a pops up the giraffe and it's behind that sheet of acetate. So they're really fun, really easy to do, so let me show you how. Okay, so these are the three things that I've used. So this is the stamp set, the Funky Flowers, and it's the A5 stamp set, and I've used the bouquet and the hand there. And then you've got the dies that go with it, so they will die cut again, the bouquet and the hand. And then this is the 6x6 square wiper die set, so I've used all of this, and I will be using the layers as well. I've already cut one, and then the happy birthday and the wiper part there as well. So what you need to do is die cut, first of all, two of the 6x6 wiper, which is this one here. So I've got this one, I'm using this pink again here. And then what I've also done is I've gone ahead and die cut in the cream, but I've already stuck it onto one of them. And you can see there we've got that nice frame. And you've got your score line, so you just want to fold one way. So you're just folding so you have a mountain fold and then fold back so you have a valley. You'll do that on both of them. You can see there we've got the side. Now, before you fold that, if you want to cut that aperture, then this is what I'm going to be using here. So I've just got some square dies from my stash. So we'll stick that and do that in a second. You will also want to die cut one of the mechanism, and I'm using um, acetate here. And it will cut through your die machine. You might have to add an extra shim. If you've got a metal shim, then perfect, but it does cut through. And that's obviously the matte layer. And then I've gone ahead and die cut the happy birthday. I do seem to just be making these quite dimensional. I really like them layered up on top of each other. So I've just got the three there and I'm gonna stick those and then I'll back them as well, just so it pops out a little bit more. Let me just pop them together. There you go. You can see there, you just get, when you, once you add that thickness and you pop it against the cream there, it creates its own little shadow and just gives it that depth. So it's really good. I have done 10 of these. I think it's 10 and then one for the actual you know, um, to have in the hand to pop out. So again, really easy to colour, a little bit of shading that I've done, but you don't have to. And um, you've got the die for that as well. So with this one here, again, this is if you want to do it, but if I just bring in the card again here, so you'll see I've got this aperture, but I, what I want to do um, with this one is we're going to cut the frame, cut the aperture, but then I also want to put a frame on it. I think this one would have looked quite nice adding a frame. I, I do like it like this because I think there's so much detail here and then obviously that pops up, you know, it does fill that space. But I did want to try this one with a frame. So first of all, I am going to cut this smaller one here. Now this one measures four and one eighth squared, so something around that kind of size. And I'm going to sit this in the center of the square here. So this cream square. And bear in mind, you're going to build up all your flowers at the bottom there. So, you know, don't worry if it's not exactly centre at the bottom, as long as these are kind of the same here. I think that's about right. I'm quite happy with that one. So I'm just going to pop my washi tape, you know, take some of the lint, um, take some of the tackiness, you know, the stickiness off, sorry, <laughs> by rubbing it on your jeans or something and stick it on the section that you don't necessarily want to keep. I mean, I'll if it comes off fine, then I'll keep this in my scrap, but don't stick it on this side because that's your frame. You want that to be seen. So I'm just going to run that through my die machine and then I want to keep that same frame and then get the next size up within your nest of squares. So this one is, that was four and one eighth. This is just under four and five eighths. Okay. And you're just going to sit them inside each other. And then I'm going to grab the same pink card. You want to tack them together so they don't shift. And then you want to die cut that on another piece of pink. So I'm just going to bring a piece over here. 
be able to get it on there. Yeah, so I'm going to now run that through my dye machine. Okay, so now I've got my frame, so I can just stick that on there. And I just think it just, for me, I do love a frame. So I'm going to stick that one down now, just so that um, we don't forget, because we want to layer up all of the flowers on top. So I'm just going to add my glue to the frame there and get that stuck down. Okay, next I've got a sheet of acetate and I'm just going to die cut this frame here. You don't have to have it as big as that one if you want to just cut it yourself, but as long as it's bigger than your aperture there, then we can stick that behind before we put it all together. Okay, so I've just stuck some red tape down on there and I'm just going to flick this over and just stick it on the back there. Okay, now we've got our aperture there. Okay, so I've just gone and embossed a piece of four and three quarters by five and three quarters because you don't need it to be six by six because when you've got this piece stuck over the back, you actually have that as five inches, the back piece here, because obviously that doesn't count. I've just embossed that piece, but you will need to emboss another one as well if you want to continue it on the sides, but those are going to be cream in my case. So I am keeping the back still pink because I just think, because these have got a white frame, they really stand out against that pink background. Okay, so first of all, we're going to add the mechanism when it's all together because I just think it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to stick down, first of all, the left-hand side. So I'm just going to add my glue and then you're going to stick it so you've got your two pieces but you flip them so you have one this side and one this side here so I'm just going to stick that one down like so okay and I can flip that over it's good to use your liquid glue and I am using Kalal glue because it does you know give it strength and you want that kind of strength when you're you know opening and closing the the card itself so this just really does strengthen everything for you so I'm just going to stick this one on the back and this is using the confetti embossing folder, which is this one here. It's a 5x7, but I just want to show you that you can use it across in the 6x6. So I know you can't really see that against there, but it's just that subtle, you can see it in there. I really like it. So that's that one. And then we can now attach here as well. If you would rather put the mechanism in when it's still open, which you can do, and I've shown that in some other tutorials, then don't do this bit yet. Go straight onto the mechanism, which I'm going to do next anyway. So I'm just going to stick that one there. Next, we're going to get our mechanism piece here. So you just want to fold and burnish across the triangle in the bottom left-hand corner. You want to keep it in that kind of bottom left-hand corner orientation. And then we're going to grab some red tape and I just like to stick it right on let it kind of come over the sides. I just think it's quite easy this way. If you've got thicker red tape, then use that. Because if you've got one inch wide, then it will do it in one kind of, you know, go. I've only got a lot of the thin at the moment, so I'm trying to use it up. So I'm just sticking three strips of it there, and I can just peel it off my mat and then just trim off the excess. Just saves you having to try and work out the angle of the tape there. So let's get rid of that that's stuck onto there. And then you want to flip it over so you've got the triangle on the bottom right and you've got the sticky part there. You're going to pop it in here, open up the card because you're going to stick that triangle, that sticky bit, onto this section here, this second piece. So there's the first piece, it's this, this one here. Okay, pop it in. You want to come up about um, an inch. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up about there. Now, don't worry that we can see it here because we're going to be building up all of the flowers over the top. So I'm just looking in there and I think that's about right. If you want to pop your bouquet on the top, you can, but I'm quite happy to stick that one down like so. And now when I go to close it, it won't poke out the bottom. I can just see it there. Okay, like so. You can see there how it moves inside to you know pop up. So now I just want to die cut this little one here, the little hand. So I'm just going to grab that die and I'm also going to get these three stuck down as well. Okay, I've also just backed it now onto a piece of that cream card so everything matches and I'm just going to trim along there. And this is so that all of the bottoms of the flowers all the stems can hide behind this. Okay, so you've got a really nice topper then, you can use that on lots of other things as well. Okay, so now we want to 
grab the hand and I'm going to stick it onto here. You can mask this as well if you want to have it as one stamped image, but then you'll have to fussy cut that. This way you can just die cut each one. But I do bring the hand up a little bit higher so you see a little bit of the, you know, the stems there poking out the bottom like that. Then I'm going to pop some red tape on the back of this one here. I'm going to kind of go up there about an inch. Okay. And then now. What you want to start doing before you stick this down is you need to start laying out how high up you want your arrangement to be because you know everybody's is going to be different so yours might not be you know yours might not be exactly the same as mine so I can see looking at this one here I've come up again for anybody that does want to follow it the top of my flowers there you're looking at about just under three and a half inches so I've got an arrangement of oranges and pink, so I kind of want to make sure I'll lay them out better in a moment, but it's going to be, you know, something like that. I do really, really like this. Um, so you can see like that, and then I'll trim some of the bottom ones there, and then that will sit like this. Okay, it looks really, really nice. But I can see the top of the acetate just here. You can just about make it out. So I can just pretend to hover this over and I can see that I think actually that's going to be just right. So I don't need to trim anything off the acetate because you can still, when you bring it down like this, I can pick out, I can hold the acetate here and you could easily just trim off a little bit from the top if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one and I'm just going to pop it in here and I want to stick it like so. Have it on a bit of an angle. There we go. Okay, try and keep it within that square there so it doesn't poke out the top. You can see there when that one comes up, they pretty much come up the same kind of place. All right, so now with all these pieces, you can keep it open like that and you know exactly now where you want to have your top one because you want to be able to see, you know, the hand, but you don't want obviously it to be too, you know, you don't want it to be too hidden. So, but with all of these ones, because you're sticking onto acetate, you do want to add red tape and apply each one using a little bit of red tape. You don't need much because you know you will layer them up on top of each other so and um, this red tape is pretty strong. So I'm going to start off with this pinky one here. You can push the whole thing flat so it's quite easy to work on and I'm going to pop the first one there and then I'm going to kind of work off each side that way. So Okay, so I've die cut two more of the kind of embossed confetti there and then I've stuck all of that down and I'm just going to pop my birth happy birthday die there on a little bit of foam because I think it will just help it stick over these pieces. And you can see the bottoms there I've just trimmed a little bit away. I really like this one. I love now that it's got that frame around it. I think it just helps a little. So then I'm just going to bring this up. You want it to cover so there's no gaps. Make sure you've got it you know, equal gap there on each side and you've got a nice even bottom part there as well. But now, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks beautiful. And when you fold that down with the acetate, you know, you might need to just push it down a little bit like so, but it does, look at that. It looks so nice, love it. And then I'm just gonna pop a strip of this on each side. And then I would die cut another one in cream, if you were doing it pink like mine, and stick it on the back and you can stamp your message in there and you know write a little note and everything on the back. This will fit into a six by six envelope. I would make a bouncy envelope. So if you are you know, making them and um, you follow my YouTube, then when I say bouncy envelopes, basically when you make them, sit it in the center of the envelope before you stick the sides, and then it will give it a little bit of dimension. It will fit your more dimensional cards. Alternatively, you can make an envelope box. Um, there are envelopes box dies. I think um, Card Making Magic, Christina has one, so you could use that one. So there's the finished card, really, really fun. Love both of them, but I do just like this one now with that frame detail on there as well. So yeah, super fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope it's given you some more inspiration to use, you know, the, the die as it is all with that aperture. I'll just bring in those other ones again. So you can see this one here, that's using the five by seven. And again, this one using the six by six. And this is the Amazing Animals 
and the party paper pack. This is the scenes paper pack. And then again, this one here, every time he pops up, it just makes me smile. So there they are, all those wonderful cards. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, as always, all the supplies will be below. And um, yeah, I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.